this is really in our shop one of my favorite vehicles on the planet our Corvettes and this is a 2020 Corvette in a limited color production run this uh, this color was only available in 2020 on this model of a Corvette now when they purchased the car they were able to get a printout from the Corvette Historical Society of what they ordered compared to how many were made just like it. And luck would have it how they ordered this car. This is a one of one. It is at Legendary Customs today for uh, detailing and a ceramic treatment. So we are going to go at it pretty quick here. Anyway, the privilege to have this car here. It is definitely newer than what we normally have here at Legendary Customs. Mark brought in his 2019 Corvette two weeks ago for a ceramic treatment. The exact same color. One year different. And uh, that was officially the newest car in our shop. And now this one. And, of course, happy husband. Anyway, beautiful car. I gotta get to work. Finally getting to the C8 Corvette. And first thing we did is took a grease and wax stripper to the whole car because we're going to ceramic coat it. Anything that's sealed under the wax, it's going to be there forever if we ceramic coat over the top of it. So we took all of the wax off of the car. Now, we're finding some surprises. You're not going to be able to see it, I don't think, on camera, but the wax camouflaged it very well but there are water spots everywhere on the car it's like the car was out in a rain or it was maybe just washed and the sun dried the water versus getting it wiped off in time and there's little tiny hairline scratches everywhere on it and I know they've been extremely extremely careful with this car so I don't think it's anything that the owner has done but maybe at one point in a dealership when they, they had some accessories put on it. And literally, this is why it's so important when you're taking care of your cars. Okay, if I take a rag like this, microfiber rag, brand new, and wipe it, no big deal. But if I get a bug under there, or have a bug on here, and I decide to put any pressure on it, and scrub that bug off, on a color like this or any dark color that will scratch the paint I'm wearing gloves because my hands are really dry from I mean it's just been that way my whole life if I were to take my hands on this color and go like this I would leave little tiny scratches so anytime I get around a dark color I really try to have gloves on but so this ceramic coating process went from about an eight hour job to do a car like this properly we might have an entire day wet sanding with 3000 grit sandpaper and then buffing we're going to try it without the wet sanding first and hopefully it will be good um, or instead of using the really really fine buffing compound we might go to a number two which is just a little bit more aggressive and that might cut the water spots out it'll definitely the fine will definitely take out the little hairline scratches but the water spots those can be a bear sometimes and I did buy a brand new product which we might try on here 
that actually removes water spots by just wiping it on, wiping it off. But I've never used it. It literally just came in. And this beautiful car is not where I want to test it out, I don't think. So it's a well-known product. It's out there. It's been used hundreds of thousands of times, so I'm sure it's going to be fine, but I just don't know if I want to do that. We have to get the scratches off anyway, so buffing is going to be a necessity. But like this headlight, great example, bugs everywhere on it. That just comes from driving. Take and use plenty of liquid, no pressure. and wipe it off. If the bug doesn't come off, spray it, put a wet rag on it, let it soak, and then take it off. Yo, pick up the phone. What? <laughs> pick up where we left off. We're gonna pick up where we left off. So, customer called in, had to take the call. You can't have customers when you don't answer the phone. Anyway, so you saw when I wiped the bugs off, they came off easily, no pressure, if they stick, it's simple. Take, get it wet, take a paper towel, whatever. Let it just soak in what you sprayed on. Let it soften the bug and then take it off. You know, that's being over precautious and over careful, but that's what you got to do when you have a car like this or when you have a classic car. So many people, I've seen them at shows, on the way to the show, bugs got on and they'll take their rag and they'll do this. And on a light color, it's not so much that you're gonna see it, but on a color like this, that stuff will show up crazy. And it's hard to fix. All these little water spots and such, to do paint correction on this before we actually do the um, ceramic coat, I bet you we're gonna have five, six hours and just doing the paint color correction before, or the paint correction, the clear coat, before we ceramic coat it because those water spots, they're everywhere and there are scratches everywhere, unfortunately. But I called the owner of the car. She wants it done correctly and to do it correctly without creating more damage, it just takes time. So when we're done with this, it's gonna sparkle like a diamond and it will be a beautiful, beautiful car. I mean, it's beautiful now. And this is one thing I was worried about with Mark's. Mark's was the 2019, the exact same color that we did two weeks ago. His car came in and it was gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. I love this color. It makes the body lines just stand out. And I was worried about putting the ceramic treatment on and him not being able to see anything different. But the first thing I did when I pulled into his driveway, he did let me drive it down to his house. That was really cool. First thing he said was, look at that shine. So even when you start out with a beautiful car that's very shiny now, properly done, the ceramic coat, you will see a difference and you're gonna get two to three years on a classic like this or a car like this that's not driven every day of protection. If you put on a everyday driver and if you wash your car every week, you're going to get a year to two years out of it. So, you know, a ceramic coat helps a lot, but it's not a five or six year product like some people say it is. So anyway, the long and short, beautiful car. We're going to make it even better. Tomorrow's going to be a lot of detailed work and then we're going to get this thing done and down the road. Okay, the 2020 Corvette Stingray has all sorts of little tiny hairline scratches. Buffing compound, our finest, did take off the water spots, thank goodness. But it did not take out the scratches. So Zach buff, bumped it up to our second most aggressive compound. And that did not take out the scratches. And that's supposed to take out scratches all the way up to 1,000 grit sandpaper. So now he is using a 3,000 grit sandpaper, which is a very, very, very fine um, product from 3M. 
and he's taking out the deep scratch and then he will rebuff those areas to bring it back to the glory that it should be. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually gone now. That tape, you got that yeah, off. Yeah, I buffed that away. Okay. So there was a, what looked like an overspray mark from the factory with tape in the overspray. So we are wondering if this rear hood or bonnet, whatever you want to call it. I think bonnet is the correct term for a rear hatch versus hood. We're wondering if it's been repainted. So a lot of work's going to go into this one to get it back to where it should have been when it came in. So again, very important if you're going to do ceramic coat, you have to fix the paint that's underneath it if it is damaged before you do anything because if you don't it's there forever wet sanding a must you can see right there see how it's turned dull that was a big scratch and when people come in and see their car in this stage i can't say i haven't had one of them not freak out so it's best that they don't come in <laughs> and uh yeah but zach brings it right back to life after getting the scratch out when we did the wax and grease remover, as you know, we found some stuff underneath there that was just crazy. But with a lot of work and a lot of paint correction, the first coat of the ceramic treatment is on. After the first coat is on, you have to wait 24 hours and then you do a second coat. And then they recommend that after a week that you put a third product on it. It's not the ceramic coat, but it's a ceramic infused detailer. And uh, so t tonight I'm going to take it home, put it in my garage so it doesn't get any dust on it from doing the body work in here, and then uh, bring it back, do the second coat of ceramic, and uh, it'll come out beautiful. But man, right now, this thing is killer compared to what it came in. And again, it came in beautiful, but right now, wow, this color is rocks. The camera doesn't really do it justice but the transformation that this car has went through is just incredible to say the least now it's going to be at a car show in on alaska on saturday so we basically have it ready for them for the car show i do have to do uh, the wheels take a look at those Zach did get them pretty doggone clean, but with our lot being a gravel lot, I will have to redo them at my home for delivery. And then I'm going to do a photo shoot with this, the first rear engine Corvette, along with my 63, the first coupe that was ever built. And obviously the only split window, window that was ever built. But man, I wish you guys could see it in person because this car has transformed into a very, very beautiful paint job with the ceramic protection. Anyway, comment below. If you like what you see, tell us about it. If you'd like us to do some other things that are crazy, give us a heads up and we'll see what we can do. We appreciate each and every one of you. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and of course, if you like what you see, share the videos subscribe if you have a car that needs to be ceramic coated or paint restoration done on it give us a holler we have literally specialized in a process to get it done right even a brand new car like this you can see big results in it thanks much keep watching appreciate it
hope you like it. Oh, yes.